Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to the very centre of Moscow. I've come today in search of a Tesla Cybertruck and can I buy one in Russia in 2024 right now? Now I've actually come to a dealership that has electric vehicles and Teslas and we're going to go and find out together can I buy a Tesla Cybertruck here in Moscow right now today. The dealership I've come to here is called Space Cars and Robots and we can see right in the window there's a Tesla Model 3 and this is the dealership that I've come to look at. Now there is actually two places in the same building. There's the one here with Teslas and then further down which we're going to see a little bit later there's also some other electric vehicles from other brands but this is where we've come to here and we've come in search of the Cybertruck and can I buy one? Is there one available? Or am I going to have to take home a Tesla Model 3 today? The actual name of the dealership or the website for the dealership is sexycars.ru with a little bit of Russian Cyrillic lettering so if you're in the market for a Tesla, this is the way you come and buy a Tesla. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost for words. I'm not even walked in yet. Space cars and robots. If you are a follower or subscriber of the channel, I have actually been to a few other car dealerships in Moscow. And this is the first time that I've been to a Tesla dealership. Actually, I've not even been to one in Australia, let alone here in Moscow. And walking on inside for the first time, I can kind of see the Tesla truck, but are they here? That's the question that I have. And I think you're all interested to know as well. I just took my jacket and hat off, so I feel a little bit more comfortable now to have a look around. And there's a Model 3 right here, right in the entrance. This is actually the only car in the dealership so hopefully we can see some more cars somewhere and check this out i think it's an electric scooter of some kind or quad bike it looks like and all of the tesla accessories here and different items i wonder if that's a phone cover or a battery bank maybe and this is what we've come to look for, the Cybertruck. And are we going to see one somewhere here at the dealership? I've never actually sat in a Tesla. I've never seen one up close, barring in a car park somewhere. And, you know, they're very sleek looking cars. And with this big glass roof on the top, and let's have a look inside or a little bit closer. Now, of course, I'm about the least knowledgeable car guy on YouTube. And of course, most of my videos are about supermarkets and different things. But of course, this big screen is the first thing you notice. And there's no dashboard right here. Is that what you call it? The dials and knobs and buttons and stuff and there's just the screen I guess that talks about the car and the different things and that's it there's a rear view mirror and lots of space for the passenger though definitely lots of space just walking around a little bit further and having a look at a little bit closer it's very nice. Now, I'm very easily impressed by a lot of cars. So, you know, in Australia, I have a Hyundai Getz. <laughs> so this is quite a different model of vehicle to what I'm used to. And just the simplicity of it and the clean lines of it. There's nothing here where you would expect to see the handbrake. Of course, this is uh, without a gear stick and things like that. But very nice. I'm not sure I want it in white, though. There's so many white cars in the Russia. I'd want a, another color and maybe have it wrapped or something like that. I'm sure 
they've got other color options for these cars and in the back it's actually very spacious have a look how it lights up here on the panels beautiful of course though the whole title of this video is to look for the Cybertruck and do they have one here in the building and I need to go and have a look a little bit more so let's go see if we can find some more models of Tesla shall we all right so I thought we'd get the question out the way early and then we're going to go and have a look around at more cars more Teslas more electric cars and I'm here with Karen how are you going Karen fine thanks now Karen actually works at the dealership right here he's a little bit nervous to be on camera I think no, that's okay. and now my question to you Karen and this is completely without any uh, thought can I buy a cyber truck in Russia right now yeah you can I can mm -hmm. I can yeah and now, if I walked in with the money today, mm -hmm. let's say I've got a suitcase of rubles, mm -hmm. how long will it take you to get me one to, in Moscow? Half a year. So six months. Correct. Yeah. And I can own a Cybertruck. Correct. Yeah. Now, can I get it in any color? There is only one color. There's only one right. color. One color. You can, you can wrap it, you know. Oh, I can wrap it. Yeah, <laughs> can wrap it yeah. So for everybody watching this video, it's going to go on a little bit longer. But Karen, if anybody wants to buy a Tesla, or wants to buy a Cybertruck, or any model of Tesla, we come and see you, right? Yeah, correct. Karen at sexycars.ru. Thank you, Karen. Thanks. You're very amazing. Thanks. Thanks. Karen was such a sport to do those few questions and small interview for us. And we're going to go down now and have a look at some more models of cars it's got very dark very quickly here in Moscow. Now where we're gonna be going is to a garage underneath the dealership. And this is where all the other models of Teslas are kept. Where we're actually heading is to the storage of the cars. Of course, where we saw the Tesla dealership up on the street level, there's not enough room to put lots of models of cars. So we're just walking down this ramp this is actually a public garage where anybody can park their car here they can also pay for a space and you can also park your car here for charging and the people that just direct me down here brought me to see the charging station right here so you can literally just pull in your car and charge it up go to work perhaps you live in the area and drive on home this is more like it compared to the showroom there's teslas in other colors there's one in black here there's one in a nice blue color and plenty of different types of them they kind of blend in a little bit here in the parking lot but this is where all the new models are kept all the 2023 and earlier models and these are all fresh and ready for an owner. I'm not the best knowing the different Teslas that we're looking at here. So we had the Model 3 here on the left. This is the Model S. Tesla Model S. This one back here is the Model Y in the corner here. And then these two are Tesla Model X's or Model X. So I can get any model of Tesla I like, but as we found out a little bit earlier, the one space that's missing is for the Cybertruck, and that should be parked right here. And like he said, I pay today, six months later, it'll be in this spot waiting for me. So as you can see, I can buy all of the models of Tesla here in Moscow, and of course, in the dealership window there, they've just got the one model, but downstairs, they've got other models. Then also, if you want other colors, you can let them know what you want, and they'll bring them to this location or this dealership for you to buy, pick up, and take home. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to walk down to the other part of the dealership with other models of electric vehicles. Now, if you're looking at the background and seeing that it's dark, and then it's light, and then it's dark, I filmed this at different points today, uh, all up 
uh, between arriving here and leaving uh, I've probably been here about five or six hours uh, about four and a half of them was talking to the staff and learning a little bit more about the car industry generally so let's go check out the other electric vehicles which are right here coming on inside here now of course my hunt for a cyber truck is not so successful to see one but there's one right here on the coffee table check that out they're also playing a video here showing the dealership generally and all of the things that are actually behind the scenes here talking also about the servicing of the cars and all the things that they do after purchase and this particular part of the dealership has other electric vehicles and other brands of electric vehicles and of course my car knowledge has probably grown a couple hundred percent after being here today and this is the Lee Auto L9 now some of these cars of course are Chinese and you know in Australia we just don't have the uh, models of cars like you see here in Russia and in different countries and have a look at this car we'll have a brief walk around and we'll have a look at a couple of different models that are here and have a look at this orange interior and the fold down rear seats and just the finish on the car as well this interior here wow now of course the main goal was to uh, get a drive in a tesla and really come and look for a cyber truck but to come and see all of these different electric cars or ev cars have a look at the size of this screen right here that's just crazy it's like the whole dashboard the one thing that's interesting too is where you're sitting in the car you're not seeing the dials or the instruments directly in front of you and they're all off-centered that's very interesting now of course as i'm walking around i feel like i'm repeating a lot of things but that's just going to be how it is the mercedes electric car here eqs 580 formatic this for me is a, a beautiful car this blue color and then this white interior now i'm not sure if i can figure out how to get the door open we'll do that in a second we'll have a little bit of a further walk around i think the giveaway for electric cars is always this front uh kind of spot here where the charging is and have a look how nice this looks now i think the video might end up being quite long at this point so please be uh, understanding you know i'm seeing this just as you are and there's also a mercedes people carrier is what i'm going to call this and this is really designed around executive transport perhaps for airport uh, to hotel driving it's a little bit of an old black interior but again very nice car i really want to see if i can get inside that blue mercedes with a little bit of help i managed to figure out how to open the door it's actually with like a waving i guess it is right there and this is beautiful inside now i can actually now my big body oh my gosh now the gentleman that's here told me this has got the best seat of any electric vehicle here in the dealership wow very nice Oh, the screen actually just came on then briefly 
And this whole panel here is a dashboard. Cup holders, you've got to have cup holders in your Mercedes. And then all sorts of different buttons. This electric roof right here. Beautiful car, really and truly. And have a look at the front here. You can't actually even see the bonnet or the hood when you're in this seat right here. Absolutely stunning. As I'm walking around looking at these different models, you know, please let me know. Maybe you know some of the different brands of electric vehicles that I'm showing you. Maybe you've heard them before, maybe you've seen them. Let me know what your opinions are and maybe what might be one of your favorite cars. Obviously the whole premise of the video is to come and see Teslas and look for the Tesla Cybertruck. But there's a lot of other electric vehicles we can see here. Now I am actually in an active car dealership and there is people here looking at cars and wanting to buy cars. So I am trying to be very respectful of the people that have let me come and film here and show the models that are on display. And here is a Zika. Now I love this orange color. Let me know, is this your color or not? It's very nice, this orange. And this is the Zika 001 or 001. Now you've got to think that whoever was coming up with the name could be slightly more inventive for the model of car. Apparently they've got 001, 007 and 009 is what I understand. But I mean for me, just the orange color sells it for me. I'm not sure what anybody else thinks. Coming back over to this Mercedes minivan is what I'm gonna call it. And I find it very interesting where these are manufactured now. At one point here in Russia, there was Mercedes manufacturing and the factory is now not producing cars in Russia. Uh, most of the Mercedes that they were producing in Russia were exported, believe it or not. But this particular model has the stamp right here and it's actually from Germany. So this is actually a imported Mercedes into Russia. And of course, we've seen quite a few Chinese cars and this is very classic minivan Mercedes style, much smaller touch screen here. You can see the map of Moscow there and where we are kind of close to the center, but not really that luxury feel to this. I guess it's just that practical model. You know, even the air vents here are the kind of original style. What do you think? I mean, of course, in the back, you've got the second and third row seating. So plenty of space for passengers. And the other model that's here in the showroom or on the showroom floor is the Voyeur. And this particular one is called the Voyeur Dream or Dreamer, the Dream. And again, this has got the sliding door like we've seen in a couple of the other models. Have a look at these seats, they're all the different functions for adjustment. And then coming on inside, this three screens. Actually, even they've got the fans running. There's a few people having a look at the different models here. And you've got the dashboard display, then there's a center screen. And there's one here for the passenger as well. Very nice. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the color of this though. It's basically a blue color that it's finished in, but it's got a metallic finish, which I guess doesn't give fingerprints. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the color of this and the paint finish. This grill at the front as well is very masculine. I'm not too sure, which I think this is actually like a plastic 
of some kind. Not sure how that would go in an accident, but at some point, you know, that would get damaged pretty easily, I think. And let's have a look inside the Zika here, the 001 model. And it must be a thing with all electric vehicles. You've got to have that TV screen in there. Now, again, I'm not the smallest person to get inside. Holy. Oh, I've really got to cramp in here. I guess I'd have to adjust the seat a little bit better and the seating position. But all of the dashboard here and display. This orange color is very nice. So it's finished on all the chairs. There's a plenty of technology that goes into these. This little dashboard display here. I think it's just showing basically the speed and different things. And then your main screen has got all of the information. But it's a very nice car. Some really interesting cabinets on the wall of the dealership here. And there's some really interesting things in here. You can see here a Ghostbusters car. There's a 3D chess set. There's a couple of different books of model cars. There's also the Mandalorian helmet right there. And the dealership has a bit of a unique thing that they do with the buyers of the cars and they want the buyer of the car to feel like this is their home and this is where they might you know, come and buy future cars after they purchase one here. And the idea is they take a car home and then they leave a piece of themselves here that represents them and what it means to be an owner of a vehicle from this dealership. Let's find this really fun that each piece of this memorabilia is represented from a different owner of a car that's purchased from this particular location. And it gives a bit of an insight into the buyer of an electric vehicle, I think. And I have to think a lot of the buyers of the vehicles like Star Wars and different futuristic TV shows or movies, just the small pieces of memorabilia that are left behind by a buyer of a car from this dealership anyone's seen this before I think this is very unique and it's just gives that a little bit more closer you know family feeling to the place again more Star Wars products in the windows here and each item is from a different owner of a car that's purchased from this particular location yeah, if I think it was to choose from all of the models in here of course, Mercedes, a lot of people are very partial to the brand and the, you know, the famous German logo, this electric car, I mean, comfort. This is the car right here, you know, those seats and sitting inside it. But for the look and the, you know, the strikingness of it on the road, this orange Zika is very nice. After seeing a few different models that are not Teslas, have I maybe changed your mind about some of the other brands that we've seen here? Let me know in the comments maybe what is your favorite one or maybe a certain model that you know already that isn't Tesla. Is there a particular model that I really should take a look at a little bit closer? I just noticed out the window, there was actually another vehicle here. And I think this is one of the employees of this building or this company, but there's a Honda electric car. It doesn't actually have the model on the back, IT.charge. And have a look at the wrap that's been put on this. But Honda electric car. And actually the one thing I've just noticed, there is no, wing mirrors or side mirrors on it. And I wonder if that's just a Honda thing. Someone needs to let me know if maybe you've seen this model before somewhere. But I think it's very interesting that there's no mirrors. I'd be lost straight away just sitting in it. 
let alone taking it for a drive because I just rely so heavily on mirrors when I drive a car. I'm not sure how you drive and how much it's necessary where you live in the world. From here, I'm actually gonna be able to go for a bit of a drive in a Tesla. And this is the model that we're gonna be going in, the Tesla Model 3. And this is actually one of the cars that they use for demonstration and for test drives. This red color now, does the red color go faster? Someone needs to let me know. Now, of course, this isn't beautiful and shiny like it's right out of the showroom. This is the model that's used for going for a drive. So from here, we're gonna be inside. Now, I'm actually not driving, I'm gonna be the passenger because I was told to get ready for a bit of a uh, interesting spin around the streets of Moscow. Okay, so before we uh, leave the uh, parking lot right here, I just need to let you know that the driver or the person here at the dealership um, said to me, just switch on the camera and record. Okay, everybody, so I'm sitting in the Tesla for the first time. Literally, it's my first time ever in a Tesla. And I was told to put the camera on me. <laughs> oh my Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> now, I, now I understand why. Um, let me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me just take a breath a second. <laughs> Is that everyone's reaction? No, no, no. Keep, that was just my reaction. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. So basically, uh, this is literally the first few minutes of sitting in the car and going for a, a spin, as I asked to do. In Australia, we call it a bog lap. So if you're from Australia, you know what I mean. And we're literally right in the center of Moscow here. Of course, most of the problems in Moscow is traffic and traffic lights and trying to negotiate getting on the road here. So... <sighs> My uh, friend here said, keep the camera filming. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's BT? <beating? laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, raw, unedited. Now, I'm not sure which part of the video this will be in. Obviously, um, <laughs> <laughs> the driver here is just smiling and it's amazing. Um, I've never sat in a Tesla. I've actually, barring being in the Moscovich, which you might have seen in a previous video, I drove around the actual factory, which I didn't really get out of first gear if there's such a thing. But at the moment, I think we're actually at a red light here for another few seconds. And I think possibly... This is gonna be the real judge of the Tesla right now. I think, maybe not. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This <laughs> Far out. Wow. Let me just tell you, apart from the acceleration, Jesus, and the braking, wow. <laughs> Going for a spin. <laughs> Going for a spin. Holy, I might, okay, I'm, I'm holding the camera still. Let me just check the footage and make sure it's come out okay. Wow. Jeez. All right, so basically, we're going for a, essentially 
a lap around the area where the dealership is but we're obviously a little bit caught with traffic which makes it a little challenging yeah, don't do that uh, <laughs> until we have a special uh, equipment and <laughs> skills right and let's see and yeah it's not so simple <laughs> to drive in traffic in Moscow and this car has absolute Spain and <laughs> now <laughs> you can see here we're just going around a few blocks from the dealership and the very famous screen you can also see a little bit of other traffic right here and the center of Moscow yeah oh okay and so the, the yes that's right now I can <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Now, of course, the uh, language can be changed on the cars. Obviously, we're in Russia, so it's in Russian. There's all sorts of features here and functions, and <laughs> we, um, oh, it's okay. British English. Uh, well, look, well, let's see. And we're still at a red light here, but that's not a problem. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit of, <laughs> the uh the uh, t breaking uh <laughs> <laughs> breaking path <laughs> <laughs> all right we're coming around to a little bit of free road and jesus and <laughs> you can see here somebody with the red plates which means a government car by the way no, it's a diplomatic. <laughs> Diplomatic car, sorry, yeah. I like to say government, but it's more than likely from one of the um, embassies somewhere in Moscow. Oh, wow. And I know that the spin, as I call it, has come to an end because we're back here at the dealership in just a second. And <laughs> holy Jesus. Now, I'm sorry for the language. I'm pretty sure that I was very polite in it all. And here we are back <laughs> and I can take a breath. So I tried to keep that last part as unedited as possible. And I think I didn't swear if I <laughs> remember rightly, um, but oh my gosh, what an experience. That test drive uh, lasted for 12 minutes and we literally went for a spin around the block uh, from leaving the dealership here, uh, going around in a bit of a fairly big circle in traffic. And just, I think you can see it in the reaction of how it was when I stepped out. And I've now uh, spent about 15, 20 minutes just calming down, <laughs> just from the experience of taking that test drive. If you own a Tesla, Please tell me, is that exactly how maybe you drive the car? Now, of course, the driver that I was with is incredibly experienced. He's been driving, uh, well, of course, all his life, but rally cars, track cars, different models of vehicles, not just Tesla. And this is his passion. And the way he drove it, oh my God. I mean, he even told me, don't drive it like that. But, you know, the way, these cars are built for speed. You know, he had to show me it and let me experience it. As we come to the end of the video, I really want to thank everybody here at sexycars.ru. If you're interested in buying a Cybertruck or a Tesla, the staff here have been so nice today. They're so knowledgeable. Their passion for EV cars and electric vehicles is, it, blows my mind and I know I've repeated this a couple of times in Australia I have a Hyundai Getz is there any even a Hyundai electric car I'm not sure so we found out unfortunately today I can't buy a Cybertruck I have to wait six months now I haven't handed my money over just yet so the Cybertruck will have to just be a truck for now but I can drive off in a Model 3 and I just need to get them to open the doors and basically, the Model 3 oh, 
will be all mine right this evening if I wanted to take one home of course I should have asked for a bit of discount maybe I can do that after the video is over thanks for watching the video today if you liked it give it a thumbs up perhaps you enjoyed a certain part of it please comment away even just to see my reaction after taking that drive uh, with George one of the employees here that was just amazing he didn't prepare me up, uh, ahead of time except telling me to put the camera on me and you can see that how it came out in the video if you want to join me on telegram I have a telegram channel that's going to pop up right here it's called traveling with Russell channel 2,000 members are in that channel you can see my daily activities here in Moscow and what I get up to while I'm living here and if you want to see an older video one's going to come up right now you can click that right away and stay on the channel otherwise I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody.